Guys, what is going on everyone? It's Jack here again. Now, before we get into this video, I'm just going to let you guys know that you may see me talking a bit like this um, to the camera because I'm going to try and fill in any blanks that I've missed um, when I recorded this video because it's, it's going to be about 35 minutes or so and um, I tried to do it all in one take. So there may be a few things that I've missed. I'm going to edit the video now and see that if anything um, is there that I've missed and I'm going to be talking to the camera like this just to fill in any gaps. Um, just that I see, you know, just where I see fit. So I want to try and make this video as, um, you know, as insightful and give you guys as much info as I can. And yeah, hopefully you guys get a lot of value out of it. Now, if you guys want to learn more about selling on Amazon Australia, I do have a course. I've got a whole bunch of happy students in there already. I've got a free Facebook group, so both the link to the course and the Facebook group, which is free. You don't have to pay for the Facebook group. Um, going to be in the in the description down below. And um, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy if you guys want to want to become um, you know one of my students to enroll in the course because I 110% believe in the um, in the value that you're going to get out of it in the content. And I'm currently working on an update which is going to be niching it even more towards the Aussie category. So if you guys are Aussies out there, if you're residing in Australia, or if you just want to sell on the Aussie market, it's going to be perfect for you guys. So make sure you check that out. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and we're going to get right into it. So let's All right, everyone, let's get into this video. Now, I'm going to try and make this as quick and efficient as possible. It's going to be uh, basically a complete guide. It's going to go over the basic overviews of everything and um, just what you need and sort of how to basically find your product, basic overview of that, how to source it uh, from a supplier, and then how to, uh, you know, the basics of how to list it and um, yeah and then you know just basically some tips on how to sort of grow from there so it's going to give you the basic overview creating your account Amazon account and whatnot so without further ado let's get into it so first thing I have here how to sell on Amazon in Australia in 2019 now how oh made that super big so this is what you're gonna need in my opinion this is what you need this is um, you know what I would recommend when you get started so you're obviously gonna need a laptop and you're gonna need an internet connection now, for product research software, it cuts a lot of corners and it helps you out a lot, especially on your journey, uh, you know, when you're finding your first product, it's going to help you out a lot with that. It takes out a lot of the manual work and even it's even going to help you a lot, um, you know, in your, let's just say if you go for a second, third, fourth, fifth product, you know, it's always going to be there um, and I'll show you why in a second. It's very, very helpful. So eGrow is the one that I use. I'm going to show you that in a second. The link is going to be down below for that if you want to check that out as well, but I'm going to go through the overview on it as well. The other thing that's optional is um, a course. Now, I'm not going to say to go for any particular course. I'm going to show you guys my course because obviously I'd love for you guys to get in on that. Not only that, I'd love for you guys to get in on the community and all the help that you're going to get along with that. So I'm going to show you guys a basic overview of that. You can skip past that if you want. I don't care. It's up to you guys. But um, I, you know, I'd love for you guys to check it out as well um, if that's something you're interested in because that's going to be the step-by-step -step blueprint that you need. Now, apart from that, how much will you need? So for a basic sort of investment when you're looking at um, Amazon FBA, because what we're doing is fulfillment by Amazon. And if you guys don't know what fulfillment by Amazon is, just basically when you buy a product, let's just say from a supplier in China, you ship it to the Amazon warehouse. And from there, when you sell an item um, through Amazon, because you're using their platform to sell, when you sell it through Amazon, you're looking to make a profit on that item. Once it sells, Amazon, um, they package it and they ship it directly to the customer for you. You never touch a product, so you're basically buying it you know, online through Alibaba. They send it for you from China to, so there's two warehouses at the moment as far as I know. In Australia, there's one in Melbourne and there's one in Sydney, so they'll sell it to one of those. Let's say, let's say you buy 300 units, they'll sell all 300 units. Every time you sell a product on there, they'll pack it and ship it for you. You don't have to worry about the packing and shipping at all because it's fulfilled by Amazon. That's what FBA is. So. Just so you guys, uh, if you guys didn't know that, that's what FBA is. Now, for your initial investment, this is including eGrow in the course. You're sort of looking, you know, without the course, you're sort of looking closer to uh, the 1,000 mark. Um, you know, probably still a bit over the 1,000. You're looking more um, at the 2K mark if you're looking to get a course as well, which I do highly recommend. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, the first step, obviously, you're going to need to find a product to sell. Now. Before uh, before I do this, I'm just going to quickly, because I'm not going to get a chance to do it after that. Um, now, if you want to invest in a course, I'm going to show you guys mine. So it's Aussie Amazon FBA course at the moment. Um, I'm in the midst, if you've heard, I'm in the midst of doing an update for it. It's still fully complete. Um, still teach you how to sell on the Aussie market, but it starts off teaching you how to sell on the US and then relate that to the, um, to the Aussie market. 
Now, in the update, it's going to be all niches. There's going to be no more US. It's going to be all niche towards the Aussie market. Everything, almost everything from scratch, uh, but it's going to be a free update for any of the students who are already in there. So this is just, if you want to go through and read, it's just um, amzsellerexcellence.com. So you can search that up on Google and it should come up. It tells you a bit about it if you want to read through that as well. And then you got a you got an overview. There's some videos that you can check out um, that you can watch just a bit about it. Now these are going to update as well. But it's just a bit about the course. Tells you you know what you need to get started and tells you a bit about what the course is all about. And then you've got all the um, all the criteria here. So all the modules, product research, which is one of the most important ones. Teaches you that all your um, you know creating a company things like taxes and GST, which is explained in that, setting up your seller account, sourcing a product, creating a killer listing, you know, launching your product, doing advertising, and then um, setting up a Facebook page as well and doing advertising for your brand, um, which is the aim of that, which I'll tell you guys a little bit about later, because um, we're gonna do, well, I'm gonna, you know, go over the Facebook ads as well on that, because um, what we're trying to do is create a brand um, when it comes to Amazon, because it's an actual business. Amazon FBA isn't some pyramid scheme or it isn't some, um, get rich quick scheme or anything like that. It's an actual business that you're building. That's why I think it's very important to um, get a blueprint of um, you know how to do things because it is it's it is an important thing. It's an actual business that you're trying to run. So, and it's a legitimate way to make money. So that's um, that's why I think all this is very important. And then here you've got the Aussie market, how to prepare and dominate for Amazon AU. Now this is going to be what the update is about, but it's going to be spread across the whole thing. So everything's going to be remade, especially for Aussies, especially now that the uh, Aussie market is starting to grow. And you can see that it's starting to grow and it's only going to get bigger. It's only going to grow in 2019. So that's why I think you guys need to get on this ASAP. So go back to this list. Find a product to sell. Now, how do you find a product to sell? So there are there are different ways you can do it. I'm going to teach you one of the more simple ways if you're very new to this. And this is going to be by using eGrow. Now I'm going to show you the guys the pricing on eGrow. It's just eGrow. You can just type in eGrow on Google and it'll come up with this page here. You can go down and check out the pricing. Now it does cost money. You can do the free version on it, but um, I do not recommend the free version. You can only do five searches per day. So five live, live searches per day. That includes the the um, Chrome extension that they give you. So it only includes five of them per day. If you want to try try that out, you can, but I recommend, uh, you know, this is the monthly. You can do yearly, but you are billed for all the 12 months all up. That's why it's cheaper. I do the monthly so I can stop it at any time if I need to. Um, let's say if you want to do, um, if you want to sign up for, you know, one month, do $28 a month, and then, um, you know, you can, uh, I think this is US as well, $28, I can't remember if this is AU or US, the $28, but you can do one month and you can cancel it if you want. Um, so I would do the standard, sign up for that, you've got way more searches. I don't really do more than 20 live searches per day um, because I'm more so... And, you know, I, I use different ways now, but you're not really going to need more than 20 live searches per day unless you're doing, you know, hours and hours and hours of research. And um, that's what this is here, which I'll show you guys in a second, is a database um, research method. So that's pretty much it for that. Check that check that page out. That's going to be the second link in the description down below. Go and check that out. I um, I value it higher than, um, than Jungle Scout these days because Jungle Scout doesn't even work for the Aussie market as far as I know anymore. Uh, well, it never worked for the Aussie market, but I don't think um, it still does. And Eager is cheaper, and it works pretty much the exact same. And I think the numbers are even just a bit, a uh, bit more accurate than what Jungle Scout. I see it. I think that Jungle Scout tends to inflate their numbers just to, um, just to you know, get sellers you know really hyped because they think that something is doing forty thousand per month when in reality, reality it's only doing fifteen thousand per month. So it's really, um, it's really up to you guys. But I recommend this. So finding a product now. Let's get right into this. So when, once you get into eGrow, it's going to bring up this here. And this is pretty much just the panel of what you can use. So you've got the product tracker, um, database research. I'm not going to go too much into this. I'm, we're just going to use a database research. Main thing here that you want to do is it's going to be on .com. But you can go down to the bottom. And down the bottom is going to be .com.au, which means you're looking on the Aussie market. You can look on the American market if you want. Um, you know, all of these different marks as well, you know, Spanish, um, French, Canadian, you know, Italian, all those here. So you can look at these, you can even look at the UK market if you want. I don't think it has a Japanese market, uh, which would be really cool, but it doesn't, so that's okay. But we're looking at the um, the Aussie market. Now, these are the numbers that, so if we were looking at the US market, it'd be a little bit different. But um, since we've got a bit of leeway, since it's the Aussie market, 
going to do some very very basic um, parameters here which I've done here to pull up as many as many um, products as we can so these are the these are the categories that I've done uh, now if you are not sure why I've done these categories um, I've got a video on that which is the top five categories I know this is more than five but I've got the top five categories to sell in on Amazon Australia you can check that out it's another video as well but follow along if you've got eGrow these are the categories that I've done here uh, just to make it very very simple just to make sure that you don't have um, you know, any because um, I'll show you the list now of what products we're looking for so this is, the, this is a quite criteria that we're looking at when we're looking for products so from these categories when starting so we've got baby beauty health and household home home improvement and pet supplies just so you guys know um, when I did all my training on the US market I would usually say uh, when you look into your parameters when you're selling on the US market you could do anything like a minimum of 300 sales per month for your product you know when you're looking at your or your criteria and trying to find you know that good product to sell I uh, would we'll do you know minimum uh, minimum 300 sales per month and then let's just say a minimum uh, you know three to five k revenue per month so the Aussie market's a bit different and the way you have to go into this and I don't know if I mentioned it in the video but I just thought I'd mention it now the way you have to go into this for the Aussie market is you need to look at it in the long term you need to look at it as I'm trying to grow a brand I'm trying to grow a product I'm trying to dominate uh, a niche trying to dominate a certain market so when that influx of customers do come along you're um, you're pretty much ready and you know you, you're ready to dominate and start selling selling a lot you can't go into Amazon Australia thinking that hey it's gonna have the same sales volume of what the US market does especially when I'm you know making this video in 2019 and you know start of 2019 you can't think of it that way you have to think of it as uh, you know I'm not gonna find products that are selling you know as much because Amazon Australia is only new Amazon Australia has only been around for just over a year and you know you got to think of it as a long-term game so just keep that in mind keep your mindset as you need to grow your brand you need to grow that product and um, you know that that's a plus side as well because you guys are getting in early you got to think of it as I got to grow my product got to grow my brand for when that influx of customers does make sure that it's not trademarked so you want to make sure that you're not selling big brand items you want to make sure that um, it's not hazardous to health and it's not something that people digest or you know cream that you know that people put in their mouths or even sometimes cream that people put in their skin so you have to be very careful with that kind of thing especially for new sellers because usually a lot of the time you need to get accepted by Amazon to sell in that and it's always very risky when you're trying to sell a product that people consume so that's why when you're starting out I'd say stay away from that and also you want to uh, make sure that the profit margin is six dollars or higher and we'll get into that in a second but that's why so you know there's a reasoning behind um, behind why I want you guys to start selling in these categories and um, you can check out the video for the top five um, which explains that a little bit more but this is just the easiest sort of way to get started just makes it nice and simple for you guys um, when you're first starting out so I've done these categories here and just as a minimum I want to make sure that as a minimum because the Aussie market's starting out smaller um, we want to do just a minimum of 100 sales this is per month so a minimum of 100 sales minimum revenue of 2000 per month which I think is um, pretty viable for the Aussie market at this point in time and I've also just made just to make sure that it's you know small and light we want to make sure that oversights isn't ticked tick standard and tick all these three here that just means that it's sold by Amazon that means that someone is doing fulfillment by Amazon and that means that the merchant it's fulfilling it themselves so that means so that's FBM which is fulfilled by merchant so that means that whoever's selling it they're doing the packaging and shipping themselves and Amazon means it's sold by Amazon themselves FBA is obviously what we're trying to do and um, that means that it's you know that they're selling on Amazon and Amazon packs it and ships it for them so basically um, the reason we're doing this is so we can get as many products as possible because there might be something that Amazon is selling that we might be able to do better than them There might be something that someone else is selling but uh, you're gonna get a competitive edge if when doing FBA because you've got faster shipping times so if someone is doing FBM and you find um, that no one's doing it FBA and it's a good product you could you know dominate that product as well and get on top of the um, you know fast shipping that they're um, you know that the other person the other seller isn't offering so once we've got these down here don't worry about anything else we're gonna go ahead and hit search Sorry if this has taken a little bit longer, um, you know, than um, than your average video. You know, just sit back and relax because um, we're trying to make this as quickly as possible. But I also want to try and get as much information in as we can. So that's just pulled up. How many results here? How many have we got? I don't think it says up here how many we've got, but you'll see by the pages down below. So what we're looking for is obviously something small and light, something that's not a digestive and something that's not a big 
uh, name brand. We'll go ahead and load more products on there. So it says 500 entries, so we've got 500 products, or it might be 500, yeah, 500 products by the looks of it. This might take a little bit to load. There we go, so that does, I might have to move myself over. There we go, okay, I'm just move myself over here for a second. And we're going to go to page two. Actually, you know what? Making it uh, very difficult for myself. So, yep, so this is page two. And, you know, we're not gonna really bother with this kind of thing. We're not really gonna bother, bother with um, replacement items and um, you know, things like placement, you know, sanding belts and things like that. Because, um, you know, they're gonna be sold by the companies that sell the actual products themselves. So I'm not gonna worry about that. We're gonna find something that is easy to, um, to put your own brand name on and easy to, um, you know, to, to, you know, put your label on and then um, sell as your own product. So I didn't explain this fully in the video, but the reason that we're looking for products that are small and light and that are easy to put your brand onto private label is so uh, it's because it um, it takes away the um, the fact of needing to pay for you know your your oversized um, you know shipping and handling when it comes to Amazon. It just makes it a bit more simple for um, for new sellers, and it's just easier to do. Um, that's what I did when I got started, and it's just it's just a lot easier in general. To um, you know, save the hassle, and it also most of the time, unless uh, you can sell your, your item for more, most of the time it increases your profit margin as well. And just before um, I get into this video, I don't know how well I explained it in the video. I don't know if I explained it at all. I can't fully remember, but I'm going to explain it now. When you see in my list that I've done um, to calculate your profits um, for your product, usually what you want to do is um, you would have seen me convert the US, um, the price of the US on Alibaba. Of the product to Australian dollars. So what you want to do once you convert that um, for the buy cost, you want to convert the um, the US buy cost. So you want to look at how much it sells for the average price. So take the average sell price. Uh, you know, take away the the buy price, and then you want to take away the selling fee. Now to be safe, I did a selling fee of five dollars. Um, that's more on the higher end to be safe. Most most of the time you won't have a seller's fee of five dollars if it's a um, if it's a more expensive item, if it's a heavy item, it might be more, it might be $6. Most of the time I've had around 3 or $4, um, uh, you know, that's just for your referral fee and then, your, and then your packaging and handling and whatnot. So that's why I've done the $5. So it's usually you buy uh, your um, sale price, take your buy price, and then take your $5 seller fee, and that's what you should be left for as a profit, uh, just as a general. Now you can go onto the Aussie Amazon Revenue Calculator. It's a US version, you can use that as a reference. But that's just a rough estimation of what you want to do, but you can actually calculate you know, your exact profit margins um, just to be safe. But just getting started, you can use that as a rough, um, as a rough not so, so much rough, but um, as more so a, you know, not an exact um, profit margin calculator, just to give you more of a um, estimation on it. And so the main goal of that is once you've calculated everything, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, my personal preference, you want to make sure that it's a profit margin of $6 and no less than that. If you can get a profit margin of anywhere from like $10 to $12, you are doing absolutely awesome. I wouldn't go any lower than $6 because in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Um, so yeah, once you've calculated everything, I know in the product that I've done, which you're going to see, uh, it's most likely not going to be a $6 profit. Uh, but it was just me giving you a reference on how to find products, and this is what you got to do. You got to keep going through products. You keep, you know, looking at the sale price. Keep looking at the buyer price. You know, how can I fit into the market? Is there profit to be made? So you got to work all that out um, yourself. That's why I'm giving you the blueprint on how to do this, and then you can go and do it yourself, and um, you know, make sure that you're doing this over and over again until you can find a good product to sell. So something like this, microfiber beach towel. Um, so how much are they doing here? So they're doing two thousand in revenue. Um, per month that's in the fitness industry. So something like this is, is a good starting point. i move myself back down here. Microfiber beach towel. Now this is what this is what we want to do from here. Once you find once you find uh, found a um, promising product, it even tells you the fee, which is really good, which is the selling fee, you know, the referral fee from Amazon every time you make a sale. Um, so they're selling at fifteen ninety nine. Um, they've got a three seventy nine fee and they're netting so they're profiting you know twelve dollars twenty that doesn't take into account how much it costs for them to um to buy the product from the supplier which we're going to put into our calculation later on uh, but let's just say there's a promising product you like the look of it and um you want to go further into it so let, what we can do here is we can get the main keywords for this which would be microfiber beach towel even microfiber towel or we might do microfiber beach towel 
microfiber beach towel. There we go. So that brings up all the items that come up under this, this keyword here. So there's 10,000 results, but we're not going to worry about that because there's um, obviously going to be, it says 10,000 results here, but there's only 20 pages worth. Uh, might be more, but that's fine. You know, it's definitely not as competitive. You can see here from the, um, from the reviews, it's, you know, it's nowhere near as competitive what it is on the, on the US market. So what you want to do here, this is the beauty of eGrow as well. I don't know why this is coming up here. There we go. Okay. So what you want to do is hit the eGrow and this comes with the, um, with the eGrow software. You don't have to pay any extra for this. And once you've got up a, um, a product page, you can hit that, hit the um, extension and it brings up the sales numbers for this page that you're on, which is really, really helpful. You don't have to go through um, each each um, product individually, which is really, really good. So now these numbers here, as you can see, if you relate this to the um, to the US market, you're going to think, wow, this is absolutely shit. You know, it's it's um, terrible compared to the US market. Keep in mind, these numbers, there are only a tenth of these numbers um, coming into Amazon Australia like three, maybe four months ago. These would have been, you know, no more than $300 revenue per month. So it just goes to show how quickly the Aussie market is growing. These here, they're selling for $30 each. I think it might, let, let's, let's just click into it, see what it is. So it's an extra large microfiber towel. They're only doing, they're only doing one by the looks of it. It's only, it's only one pack. They're just doing different colors here. You know, by the looks of it, it is, uh, it is white labeled, which is someone doing FBA. Um, New Life, that looks like that looks like a, a brand that's doing FBA. All right, so me being me, um, I've realized that um, I have left a couple of things out, so I'm glad that I'm I'm going through the video and um, I'm just filming these as long as I go because um, it should really help you guys out. So when I'm talking about white label, that's just private labeling, which is um, you know putting your own putting your own logo on a product from China and then shipping it to you know Amazon to sell from there so that's why it labeling because you're getting a no brand product and then you're putting your brand on there and selling it um, what I was talking about in the video um, with trying to with making sure that it's not patented or copyrighted or anything with you know the brand that you're selling you make sure that you're not selling big brand items you can just go and look at that through Google Patents, or you can go and check out my video. I've already got a video on it, and it just explains in detail how to make sure that uh, it's not a, you know, it's not a copyrighted item that you're selling, and it's not patented, so that you know you're not going to get yourself in some hot water. So make sure that your product isn't copyrighted or, or patented, and you should be all good to go. Selling for thirty dollars each, and they were doing eight thousand in revenue per month. Now let's just say, as an average. They'd, they've got a 50% uh, profit margin, so they're profiting, you know, anywhere from four to five thousand dollars a month on that on that one product. So let's just say we like the look of this, and let's say you wanted to do, let's just say we wanted to do a large one, so we can so we can get up there with this guy, and um, and sell it for a higher price, a higher price point. So they're netting, you know, twenty three dollars twenty seven cents. That's how much they're profiting on that. So. And keep in mind here, look at this here, you know, if you're going through the, um, going through these, these products here, they're all FBM. There's only one here that's, that's doing FBA. And if I move it over, so the FBA do, uh, guy here is doing, um, doing, you know, 1500 revenue. Okay. So what we're going to do now is, um, we're going to see how much it costs. So we're going to go to, now I use something called Alibaba. So as you can see here. We want to, once we found a product, we want to source a product, see how much it is. And we want to talk to the suppliers and see how much we can get it for. Maybe we can negotiate a price and um, we're going to ask, you know, different suppliers. So we're just going to send them an email. So just say large microfiber, if I can spell beach, beach towel. I can't spell, but that's okay. Keep in mind that these prices are in US. So just keep that in mind here. Now, let's just say if you wanted to change it up. Now, first thing as well. Um, now, these these supplies are all from China. So this is where majority of FBA sellers get their products from is Alibaba. Um, some of them get them from different suppliers. I know Alibaba the best. I haven't had any dramas with Alibaba with the you know the multiple products that I've sold on uh, that I've sold and are selling on um, on Amazon. So I don't have any any problems with them. So, you know, I, I would recommend that you use Alibaba. 
Now what you want to do when you search for this is you want to make sure that they have trade assurance, which means that when you buy um, a product through Alibaba, um, you know, with your supplier, let's just say if they send you over, it hasn't happened to me before, but if something does happen, Alibaba will get your back and you can get, so there's no, um, you know, there's no risk on it. So make sure that there's trade assurance on that. And what I do, if you're looking for, you know, an order, let's just say, um, you know, less than 500, you can do that, which um, minimum order. So as you can see, I would do, uh, you know, two to 300 units for your first order, uh, which is enough to gain your sales velocity and start ranking your product so you can um, you know get day sorry about this um, the screen blanking I don't know what's going on here but I'm just gonna have to bear with it so let's say you want to do a large one let's say if you wanted to do let's say if you wanted to do a round one here let's say this one this one looks good by the way because from what I saw there wasn't there weren't too many people doing round ones by the looks of it they're all straight they're, they might be large but they're all just rectangular ones. So let's say we wanted to change it up, and this is good. This is what you want to do. You want to change it up. So anywhere from four dollars, uh, four fifty to six dollars US a piece. Let's just say you wanted to go for this. You had a look at it. You know they might have different designs as well, which is really really cool. It's still a microfiber one, but it's huge. It's a large tail. Let's say you wanted to check that out. It says it has one piece minimum minimum order, but it says here three hundred. So if you're looking for three hundred. Always check with your supplier as well. When you send a message to supplier, this is all you would say. Just say, hi, my name... I'm just gonna have to leave that. Hi, my name is Jack. Um, I an e-commerce... Oops. Hopefully I spelled that right. I own an e-commerce um, store that sells through Amazon and I would like to add your uh, what is it large microfiber round beach towel and I'd like to add your large microfiber round beach towel to my catalog then I would just say, could you please quote me with the following? Say 300 units. So you say 300 units. Uh, and you can, you can copy this, by the way. This is pretty much what I use when I talk to suppliers. Um, you know, let's say if I talk to three to five suppliers, I pretty much use the same thing. Um, 300 units. Uh, shipping, shipping by air. You want to make sure it's shipping by air um, and not by sea because air is a lot faster. Might be a bit more expensive, but it is it is worth it in my opinion. Shipping by air. Um, barcode. Could you need your own barcode? Barcode and custom logo printed on product now what you want to add it here is well shipping by air to Amazon Australia warehouse some some um, some supplies might ask for the um, for the address now you're not going to know the address of the warehouse itself uh, unless unless you do know it most people don't know it that comes when you um, create your shipping plan which I'll talk a little bit about uh, more in this video so barcode and custom logo printed um, on product. So 300 units shipping, I think that is everything. Um, and then I would say, can you please also tell me the estimated time of manufacturing? Then I say, thank you. Thank you, Jack. There we go. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's all we need to know. We just need to know how much it will be for the amount of units, how much it is um, for the shipping by air to the Aussie warehouse, and how much it'll be for um, you know putting a barcode on the product and um, you know having your custom logo on there as well. So, it's an inquiry now. Now I'm not going to get too much into this, but what I'm just basically going to um, let you guys know 
when you're creating a brand, you're obviously going to need your own your own um, logo made and you know your your own brand name. So that'll come into when you're creating your Amazon account, which we get into in a second. But um, when it comes to your brand name and creating your logo, I would just go for your logo. I would just go into somewhere. You know, I just named my brand name something more generic. Um, unless you're looking to sell in a certain niche, I had named it something more generic, so I can. Um, and especially when I when I first started out, just so I can start selling, um, you know, different products. I ended up actually changing my brand name um, over time, so I could sell, you know, in a more niche category. So you can either do that if you want to sell a wider range of products, then um, just do something, you know, a brand name that's a bit more generic. Um, you know, just let you guys know that. And then yeah, if you want to do your logo, go into somewhere like. Um, sorry about this, by the way. I don't know what's going on with this. So if you want to sell something, uh, if you want to, you know, for your brand for your um, logo, sorry, um, if you want to, if you don't know how to design your own logo, go to somewhere like, um, go to somewhere like Fiverr, or go to somewhere like Upwork and um, get a logo done as well, you can get it done for about 50 bucks. So if you haven't made an account, make an account and do that, it's going to ask you to sign up, um, or just, you know, just sign if you already have an account, do that, and then um, send off your inquiry and they should get back to you, um, you know, hopefully within 24 hours, if not, you know, go to different suppliers, most of them get back to you within 24 hours unless they are um, they are you know bad at replying take your business somewhere you know somewhere else so it's pretty much it for that now next step so let's just say uh, so we've got source of product yeah next step is to create your Amazon account now this is under the assumption that you found the product let's just say they have a you know they have a really good price and just before we do that we're going to do we're going to do some some math on this so let's just say let's just say it's five dollars us this is where you got to work out your budgeting as well so usd to aud this is this is what you need to do so how much is this so let's just say it's five dollars five dollars a piece so five dollars us is about seven dollars australian we're going to pull out our calculator so it may be too much, and you may, to, you may need to look for another product. So this is we're going we're going to go into the assumption, even if it's a bit more, just for the purpose of this video, we're going to go with this product here. But let's just say so seven dollars times three hundred. So it's twenty one hundred. So this is over our budget. So let's just say um, you know that's not even including the cost. So this is something that you need. You know you may even need to buy less. You may even need to buy you know um, one fifty. So let's just do times 150 so you got 1050 and um, that's not including the shipping that they that they are going to charge you as well so make sure you ask your suppliers do your budgeting and um, make sure that you know you're under what you want to spend you may have a budget that's more than two grand but this is just the starting point make sure that you do the numbers that you run the numbers um, otherwise you're going to be in trouble so you know this is just I'm just doing this product for the purpose of this video but um, when you're searching for your product make sure that you that you you know work out your numbers as well which is really really important so the next thing from here what we're going to do so let's just say we're going to do you know 300 units um, you know from that supplier there next thing you do is to create your Amazon account so all I d did when I went uh, you know all you want to do when you go uh, make your Amazon account is you want to go to Google and type in sell essential Australia find this one here which is um, you know, sellessential.amazon, make sure it's .com.au. You want to click into that one. Now, it might come up with mine already. So this is just one of my um, one of my fake accounts. It's It's got a negative balance here because, um, because it obviously charges you when you make an account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to log out. And it's going to bring up this page here. And if you don't have an account, you just want to go ahead and go create your Amazon account. And you create, you, you, you do your name, you make your email, your password. And then once it goes to create your account, it's going to have a page where it's going to ask for, um, what's going to ask for things like, you know, your, um, it's going to ask things, it's going to ask for things like, uh, might ask for your tax file number. Uh, I might do that later. I, I can't remember if it does your tax file number straight away, but it's going to ask for that. And it's going to ask for a few more details. Pretty easy to set up. So the rest of the video decided to delete itself. So here we are day two. It's okay, it gives me a better opportunity to explain it even more. So we're gonna kick it off uh, back where we were now. I think where we ended on the last video, once you're signed in, it's going to basically ask from here. I think the only other things it asked for, um, which I might've forgot was your bank account as well, so they can pay you. Um, I've got the list here. 
So what do we got? So Australian driver's license or birth certificate, tax file number, bank account info as well. So they're gonna ask for the rest of this when you log in. I think the first they ask for your tax and then they ask for the other two when you log in. They're gonna have um, a little red number next to this flag here. So you click into that and then you verify your account. It takes about 24 to 48 hours unless there's dramas with it. If you do have problems, just um, contact Amazon seller support and they get it all sorted. Any problem I've ever had, I just contact Amazon seller support and they always get it sorted. Sometimes it's taken, you know, if, it's a, if it's a more complicated issue like with a listing or like with a product or anything, it might take longer. The longest it's taken for me is maybe two weeks, but at, you know, in the end of the day, I was able to sell my product, I got it all sorted. So if you have any issues, don't stress out, just contact seller support and they will help you as much as, you can, as much as they can. There hasn't been an issue that I've had that they haven't been able to resolve. So you'll see that there, just get that sorted. Now, next thing here in the list, um, is to create your Amazon listing. So this is where you actually put it. So let's just say you've chosen your product and um, you're about to get it shipped and you can't get it shipped in until you create your listing. So I'm not gonna go too much in depth with um, creating Amazon listing. I'm gonna tell you guys the basics and tell you guys where to go and um, you know what to do, but I'm not gonna go in depth with it. Now for your keywords, which I'll show you in a second, just look up another YouTube video on that. It is in my course, but um, it's another video in itself. So I go really in depth with all this stuff um, in the course. So if you wanna check that out, I'm telling you guys, if you're not sure what to do, get enrolled in a course. I do recommend mine because I believe in the content in it. That's why I've created the course because it's gone through all my failures and um, you know all my wins. It's compiled it all together and it's just put it in a blueprint for you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, click the first link down below. Just invest in yourselves, guys, and just you know just make make the jump and just make sure you guys get into it. But apart from that, you know you can check out check out other YouTube videos. Um, you know especially. If you can find ones for the Aussie market, that might help you as well. But I'm just gonna show you guys now exactly how to do it. So create your Amazon listing. All you wanna do is to go into your inventory here and you wanna to go to add a product. So once you're in add a product, yep, I got it, cool. All you wanna do is come down here, it says create a new product listing. Now for our tail, uh, we're going to, what you wanna do here is to find your category and you wanna get as close as you can. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able, how close I'm gonna get it to the, um, the microfiber tower, but we'll go into sports, fitness, and outdoors. And then we'll go into, now I think for mine, it's going to be closer. So I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this, but I'll just do other, so sports, fitness, and outdoors. But if you can find, say if yours was a tower, if you can find a um, an actual category that's in the towels or microfiber towels, get it to that because it'll help optimize your listing. It'll help more people find your products if it's in the right category. Amazon ends up optimizing it for you when you start making sales anyway, but just to get started, it you know it can help with that. So we're gonna click that, hit select, go to the next page. So this is just to do um, all your vital info for all your um for, you know for for your product. And um, you know, make sure your listing is starting to get optimized. You don't have to finish everything off right now. The reason we're making a, a listing now is so we can create a shipping plan to get your product, you know, into the Amazon warehouse. So, first of all, all the highlighted ones are the ones that you need. Uh, product ID. I will always choose UPC, and the product ID is just your barcode numbers. Now, the barcode, um, the the website that I used to buy barcodes is called barcodesmania.com. Um, I have a video on this if you want to go check that out because that's again another video in itself. It's pretty easy to do. It only costs about five or six dollars to buy a barcode and then um, you know they just send you the file in an email and you send that file to your supplier so they can print it off and you know slap it on your product and then um, it'll give you the numbers as well. So you put those numbers in there. Um, I think it's like a seven or eight digit number. You put those numbers in there because it's a you know a, an identifying number for your product. Any e-commerce site. Um, the majority of the time, especially when you sell on Amazon, you need a UPC code because that's how it identifies. Especially with you know, same with with any retail store, any retail store, um, Amazon works the same. If you have, let's just say, if you have 300 units of the same product, you only need one barcode. Let's just say you have 150 each of you know two different colors, then you're going to need two different barcodes. You don't need 300 different barcodes. You only need a barcode for a any product you know that's different than the other so if you have the same product you only need one barcode so that's where you put in the product id product name what i would do is i would pretty much go so let's just say we're going to go to amazon australia here and we're going to look up uh similar beach i'll see if i can find the same one as yesterday microfiber 
microfiber beach towel. I think I can find the same one as yesterday. So this one here. Now yours is obviously going to be different because we chose the round one. Well, this one's going to be different. But what I would do to get started is to copy it word by word. Go to add a product, paste that one in. And I would change it up a bit. I wouldn't put 180 by 180. So we'd take, we'd take that out. You know, we could do extra large if you wanted. Because we got a large one. And this is just to help. Okay, I've just gone to the, uh, to the page before. <laughs> I always do this on the Mac. Let's go back. Let's go back. Do this again. The, the, be the beauty of technology. Okay. So just choose UPC again. Make sure you, it's always UPC. I, I don't do any ASIN or anything like that. Okay, product name. We're going to do this. And now make sure when we slide over, we don't go back to the same page. There we go, just do XL like that. Now slowly, slowly, just so I don't go to the next page. There we go. Microfiber, and we can do round beach towel if you wanted to. Now you can change this up, but this is just to help um, you know, for your sort of your optimization or your of your listing, make sure people can find your product. If it's similar to one of the top selling ones, it's gonna make it a higher chance for people to find your product. It's all about optimizing your product to put it in front of people's faces, so that's all that is. And you may, may your manufacturer. That's just basically your brand name. So manufacturer brand name is the same. I just put it the same. So let's just say if we had a Towels and Co. Uh, brand name. Uh, what am I doing? Towels and Co. I didn't even spell Towels right, did I? If I can spell Towels and Co. Do the same thing for that. Now don't have to worry about variations unless you've got uh, different colors. So don't worry about that. And then offer. Uh, I think this one, you want to price it competitively, so this is one of the top sellers in this listing, so you might want to do it a bit cheaper, you could do maybe like $24.99, so you could do that, and then once you start making sales, you can, um, you can, you know, up the price from there. Again, the course goes over this in depth, but for now, I'm just going to do a slight overview. Um, quantity is one, because most, uh, you know, you only want to ship one at a time, unless people buy uh, more than one. Also, what you want to do is go to advanced view. I forgot to mention before. There's not really much that we need to fill out. Um, one thing as well, which I want to mention, as you can see here, it says fulfillment channel. I want to ship this item myself to the customer if it sells. Now, I've had a lot of questions about this um, because with the US market, there's a there's a um, option there where you can go, I want Amazon to fulfill this um, the orders for me and ship it out to them. It's okay. Amazon Australia does have um, FBA. Now, the option might become available um, later on in your listing when you get it shipped to the Amazon warehouse But the main thing is that you have to know is that if you have the product shipped to the Amazon warehouse and it's linked to this listing There's no way that Amazon is going to say okay Well, you have to ship the item yourself, you know, you, you don't so don't worry about that even if you have this option um, chosen at the start um, You know and let's just say it's not it's not available to choose the FBA option later on get in contact with Amazon seller support if, you, if you're getting scared um, and just just say to them, hey, I want to make sure that this item's being fulfilled by Amazon, and they'll say, hey, okay, that's no problem. Um, you know, we can see that your item's in the warehouse, and we can ship it for you. As long as your your item, you, know, you actually ship the item to the warehouse, you're going to be fine because Amazon Amazon's going to see that you've got stock there, that it's in stock on your listing, and they're obviously going to do the packaging and, and sending for it yourself. Um, but you know, if you have any dramas, like I said, just just um, contact seller support; they can get it sorted for you. So. We don't really need to fill out anything else from here. Compliance. I think that the only thing from compliance is your item weight. Now you get that from your supplier. Um, you can get it from the product page usually. We just ask them, put in the item weight. You can do it in pounds or um, kilograms if you want. And that is pretty much it for that part. Now the rest of it, images. I'm just going to go quickly over images and description and whatnot. Images, the only thing I need to say with this is to read the guidelines. Now your first image has to be um, the product, which is, I think it's 85% of the image, needs to be your product and needs to be on a white background. The big thing is white background, and you can do any other photos you want from here. Now, don't get your photos from the Alibaba product page because they're most likely copyrighted. Even if your your um, your supply says that they're not, just be very careful because a majority of the time you can't use them. What I would do is I would either take the photos myself. If you don't want to spend any money, you just send a um, get your supplier to send you a um, send you you know a, one of your products and then um, a, you know like, like a sample of your product and then you can take the photos yourself. I've done it on an iPhone b before myself. Or if you want to get them um, done at a higher quality, 
look up somewhere like Fiverr or Upwork. Uh, I'm not sure if Fiverr does it, but definitely look up somewhere like Upwork. If you can get someone from Australia, even better. If not, just send your photo over to someone in the US. Tell them what, what you want because there's people who specialize in this kind of thing, taking photos for Amazon products. Tell them what you want. Get action shots and whatnot done. You get it done on a white background. Send them the product. They'll you know they'll take the photos for you, and then they'll send you the photos, and then you can you know you can have a nice listing done up as well, and you can have you know nice photos done up for that. So that's how I do my photos. Description and keywords. I'm not going to get too much into this. Description is obviously you talk a bit about your product. Um, key features don't really need to put that in. Product description isn't as important as keywords though. So but do a product description anyway. It just talks a bit about what it is and keywords. Uh, now I would look up a YouTube video on how to do keywords because it is a, a very important you know back end part of um, of your product because this is basically keywords are going to be um, especially your search terms your search terms are going to be how your uh, how your customers are going to find your product so for beach towel you know you could type in things like beach towel or large beach towel or microfiber beach towel and, you know there's a there's a limit to how many you can put in there but that is all the back end stuff and that's how people are going to find your product so that's very important look up a youtube um, video on that better yet i'm going to say it again enroll in the course there's a whole uh, different unit on this and um, like i said it's going to be updated anyway it's still viable but it's going to be updated for the aussie market as well um, you know it's going to help you just even more on you know selling those products so that's pretty much it with creating a listing the next part so all you want to do after that sorry is um, just hit save and finish and once you get your shipment plan done you can optimize this later on so what have we got next uh, so send your product to Amazon warehouse the easiest way to explain this is all you're doing is creating a shipment plan you're telling Amazon how many units you're sending over you know and how many boxes this is where you got to sort of talk to your supplier about it I have a video on this um, on my YouTube which is free um, you can go and check that out to teach you how to do everything and all you're basically doing from there is once you tell Amazon how much of your product you're getting into Amazon they'll say hey okay cool we've um, we've done up this label for you this is what you need to slap on your boxes so um, you know that you're sending from your supplier so you get those files I send it in a PDF file um, on that page when you do your shipment plan you send that over to your supplier and your supplier says cool thanks we're going to slap these on the boxes and we're going to send it straight to the Amazon warehouse and that's it. that's how they receive the stock but that's a very important part check out that video if you're not sure on how to do that these next parts I'm just going to go over um, very very quickly now the reason I'm going to tell you guys to do um, Facebook pages um, and start posting you know you know let's just say for Tales and Co I make a um, I make a product page I make a, um, a business page for um, for Tales and Co and I start posting about microfiber towels I start posting my product um, on the page and I start and I start you know generating um, leads and generating sales from there the reason I need to do that and the reason why it's going to be um, what's going to be covered in um, the update on the course as well is because Amazon Australia doesn't currently have PPC, which is um, usually for Amazon US and the other markets, you can pay Amazon to um, you know bid for certain keywords. And when people type in, let's just say they type in microfiber towel, you can you know if you bid high enough, you can make your listing come up at the top of the page. Now there's a whole strategy to to PPC, which I cover in the course, because um, there's automatic placements, which um, Amazon choose the keywords for you. Then there's manual placements, which you choose. Once you start learning more, you can choose how much you can bid on each keyword and just kind of works the same as Google Ads. So um, it does cost money, but um, that is a, it's a very good way to use Amazon's um, you know traffic. And unfortunately, it, it's not available on the Aussie market just yet. But uh, you know, just just to keep in mind, to give you guys some peace of mind, my one of my most successful students, Al Bass. If you haven't seen the um, the interview with him go and check that out because the way that he is selling you know three to five thousand per month on the Aussie market is he started off on a dollar a day Facebook ads from his Facebook page and he's only scaled to three dollars a day and he is making that profit he's making about you know I think it's around five hundred um, dollars profit per week on the Aussie market so just goes to show that Facebook ads do work but you need to run that traffic to your um, to your product and that's why I recommend creating a Facebook page start posting on there and create an ad account and start um, running ads on there I wouldn't do any more than five dollars a day I'd even start on a dollar a day just so you can start learning Facebook ads there's heaps of videos on that as well um, on YouTube which you can go check out the only other extra as well on step seven is 
pretty much the lifeblood of your product when it comes to Amazon is reviews. So they're, they're pretty much reviews. Um, it's social proof. Reviews on a, on a product is social proof. If you go to Amazon and you're buying something yourself, let's just say you have two of the same products, you know, both are um, both are pretty much the same price. Even let's just say the one without reviews is a dollar less. Which one are you going to go for? The one that has five five star reviews, or are you going to go to the one that has no reviews? I know personally, I'm going to go to the one that has five star reviews because I know that the product is good. Even if the other one's cheaper, I know that the product is good. I'd rather spend more because for one, I don't want to get my time wasted, and two, I know that's going to be a quality product because other people have already purchased it before me. Because no one wants to be the first person to try out a product. You know, it's just the way it is. It's just the way consumers work. I know that's the way I work, and I know that's the way that my customers are going to work. So the way to get uh, the good way to get reviews on there, um, you know, for your Amazon Australia, is just to go into somewhere like Upwork, hire someone. And you have to be very careful with this. Um, I think oh yeah, I do have a I do have another video on this as well, which you can check out because some of it is against Amazon's terms and services. I'm just going to tell you guys right now because you can't really do incentivized reviews, um, but you know there are ways around it. Um, because it's pretty much the only way you got to you got to play this game because it's very hard to get people to review your product that have you know they review a product that they've purchased. Um, it, it's just very hard to do. So go and check that video out, and I would aim for a minimum of, of um, five reviews to get started. Luckily, the Aussie um, the Aussie market there's not too many reviews around, so um, you know if you jump on it now, you're going to reap the rewards, reap the benefits later on. So it pretty much covers everything, guys. Um, go and read through this again. I'm going to scroll scroll down as well. If you guys want to screenshot this, go ahead. It's just a you know this is a very very um, broad overview of what to do, but just shows you pretty much everything that you want to do um, when getting started selling on Amazon Australia. I hope this helped. Uh, I know it's a bit of a longer video, but I wanted to try and get as in depth as I could. Now, if you guys have any other questions for me regarding Amazon Australia or Amazon selling in general comment on this video or message me on Facebook or Instagram, Any, either one of those, or join the Facebook group and post in there. There's heaps of helpful people in there as well. Apart from that, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And last time I'm going to mention this in this video, go ahead and enroll in the course if you haven't already. Um, I do have a payment plan on the course as well if you are interested in trying it out or if you're interested in enrolling and, um, and getting started and you know, investing in yourself, but you don't have the funds straight up, you don't have, you, you know, you can't pay for it straight up, there is a payment plan on it as well. I am always gonna say that 110% recommend, um, you know, my course because um, I, I believe in the, in, the, um, in the content that's in there. And not only that, I don't, be, I don't just believe that, but I believe that you're also signing up to someone you know not only myself but a um but a group that actually cares about your success it's not a course that you're just going to buy and then you're just going to be left in the dark with it's something that you you invest in yourself with if you're stuck i have students that have first brought the course you know even my one of my most successful students albas he still messages me you know at least once a week just um telling me his update or if he has any questions for me he comes to me and then i i reply to people try to get to them um, with within 12 hours all my students and even people who aren't in the course I try and get to within 12 hours. So you're not gonna be left in the dark with this. You're always gonna have help um, with myself and with the community. So, um, because you know, the, the thing with me is that I just want people to succeed and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy when people succeed. And it's kind of like a selfish thing for me because um, I like to see people succeed and seeing people succeed uh, makes me become successful as well. So really, it's just a, it's, it's just a win-win. So if you're interested in that, guys, check out the first link down below. Give me a message, I'm more than happy to help. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one.